Okay, let's talk about scientific breakthroughs. Throughout history, there's been moments of pure brilliance that have transformed the way we live today. From the invention of fire, to electricity, to the internet. And you probably now heard Google CEO say this about AI. It's more profound than fire or electricity or any of the other bigger things we have worked on. It's clear that AI is up next, but I want to know specifically how AI is going to transform humanity. Well, that's why experts are saying Google's AlphaFold comes in. But what is AlphaFold? Protein folding is one of these holy grail type problems in biology. The implications are immense from how diseases progress, how you can discover new drugs. Uh, grandest challenge problems for the last 50 years in biochemistry. I, I think we, yeah, we'll be able to get down drug discovery from years to maybe months. This will change everything. I've read through tons of papers to better understand Google's AlphaFold, and virtually every single one starts with the problem, or more specifically, the protein folding problem. So let's start there too. First, why study proteins? Well, from a biomedical science point of view, proteins are fundamental to life. They're found in every single living organism on Earth, from the building blocks that make you, you, to the enzymes that digest the food in your gut. Proteins play an essential role in life, and this is because of their structure. You have this one-dimensional sequence of amino acids that's encoded by your DNA that then gets turned into RNA, then a protein sequence, and it falls together into some three-dimensional shape, and then it's that shape that determines the function. So whenever you hear of the word structure, in biology, thing function. I spoke with Charlie to better understand how AlphaFold has solved this protein folding problem. Hi there, I'm Charlie. I'm a PhD student in AI for drug discovery and structural biology. And to put it simply, proteins are so special because they're so versatile. They're able to fold and undertake a whole load of different structures and carry out different functions in our body. And this is specifically important in the context of medicine. Here's why. Drugs will often fit into receptors of proteins in the body, and depending on how they've been designed will cause a specific reaction to happen. For example, propanolol is a medication used to treat an irregular beating heart. It will bind to receptors in our heart, causing the heart rate to slow down. But equally, in times of severe allergic reactions, adrenaline can be given, which binds to the exact same receptors in our heart, causing it to speed up. So understanding the 3D structure of proteins in our body helps us to develop new drugs that specifically target different receptors to cause different actions. But there's a problem. Why is it so hard to map the 3D structure of a protein? There's essentially so many different folds and different shapes that even a short protein sequence could take that if you wanted to manually search, you would approach the heat death of the universe before you were actually able to find the ground truth structure. Hence the protein folding problem. This is an amino acid, and proteins are built from a set of only 20 amino acids, which link together forming a long chain. Think of it like threading beads onto a necklace. Each amino acid is a bead and has its own unique color with specific characteristics. Depending on the amino acid sequence, different types of bonds will form within the protein structure, causing the two-dimensional amino acid sequence to fold into a complex three-dimensional shape with its own unique function. To date, visualizing the 3D structure of a protein and its relationship to that two-dimensional amino acid sequence has been extremely costly and laborious. So this would take potentially a whole PhD's worth of time. A common method used by biologists is called X-ray crystallography. Um, and how it would work is you would uh, essentially get your protein, express it, get it to a really high concentration, uh, and then slowly crystallize it in a test tube. You shoot some X-rays through your protein crystal sample, and then you get a diffraction pattern. That diffraction pattern is then measured by uh, a detector. And then based on that diffraction pattern on a computer, you can reconstruct what the real atomic density is, and then a structural biologist would go and place atoms into that. Over the last 50 years, scientists have collected the structures of around 194,000 proteins into a publicly available database known as the Protein Data Bank, or PDB. In 2021, AlphaFold released a structure of over 1 million proteins. Here's that in perspective. Fast forward to the present day, and AlphaFold has now predicted the 3D structure of over 200 million proteins known in nature. So how did they do this? AlphaFold is an AI model, and like with all AI models, the answer starts with the training data. You know, everyone thinks of, oh, DeepMind did protein folding and solved it in two years, but then no one thinks of just how long it took to make the PDB. So it took over 50 years to create the PDB. And if you were to replicate it from scratch today, it would cost about 10 to $20 billion. AlphaFold is based on the same neural network architecture we see in ChatGPT, but the team at Google DeepMind designed it specifically to work with 3D protein structures. 
the model was fed the 194,000 3D protein structures and the amino acid sequence that we already knew, and it learned the relationship between how different amino acid sequence bond together and how this interacts to form the final 3D structure of a protein. Based on this, AlphaFold can now predict the 3D structure of a protein based just on its amino acid sequence with insane accuracy. Its predictions were noted to be accurate within 0.96 angstroms. An angstrom is a unit of length used to measure atoms, equal to 1 10 billionth of a meter. That's this many zeros. When they released AlphaFold 2, they also released this thing called the AlphaFold database. Uh, it's basically every single protein uh, known to humankind. This is a huge deal for drug discovery. Let's take a look at how. First, it's important to note that Google just released its latest model called AlphaFold 3. And sort of the headline news is that instead of just being able to predict single protein structures, it's basically generalized to any kind of biological modeling. So it can predict, say, how proteins interact with RNA, it can predict how proteins interact with DNA, or very interesting for drug discovery, it can predict how proteins would interact with small molecule drugs. If we take Alzheimer's disease as an example, it's a neurodegenerative disorder that leads to cognitive decline. It's caused by the misfolding of amyloid beta and tau proteins in the brain, which ultimately cause the formation of plaques and tangles, hence disrupting the normal brain function. AlphaFold 2 allowed us to accurately predict the structure of proteins, for example, amyloid beta and tau, which can help us understand how these proteins potentially misfold in Alzheimer's. But AlphaFold 3 now goes a step further. Well, of course, the holy grail for drug discovery is not just knowing the protein structure, which is what AlphaFold 2 did, but actually designing drug compounds called ligands that bind to the protein surface. And you want to know where it binds and how strongly it binds in order for you to design the, the right kind of drug compound. So AlphaFold 3 is a, a big step in that direction of um, predicting protein ligand binding and how that interaction will work. That's Demis Asabis, the CEO of Google DeepMind. If you ask me the number one thing AI can do for humanity, it will be to solve, you know, hundreds of terrible diseases. AlphaFold 3 is now a step closer to this endgame. Whilst 2 provided single static predictions of 3D protein structures, proteins are not static or rigid. They can change shape in response to their environment. Whereas now, 3 can predict how the shape of a protein can change when other biomolecules interact with it, which can include when a drug binds to it. You can begin to see how this has huge implications for medicine and developing treatments. If we go back to using Alzheimer's disease as an example, AlphaFold 3 can help in designing new treatment. For example, one that specifically binds to the misfolded proteins to prevent plaque or tangle formation, or even one that prevents the initial misfolding of these proteins in the first place. So where does this leave us? AlphaFold will go down as one of the biggest scientific breakthroughs ever. It's a huge testament of how AI can transform humanity. But I think more importantly, it's a celebration of collaboration. For decades, scientists from all around the world laid the groundwork, uncovering the secrets of protein folding one discovery at a time. Without this, AlphaFold wouldn't have been possible. In a time when everyone fears AI taking over, AlphaFold reminds us that the greatest advancements come from humanity working together. All the references that went into making this video will be in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to the channel. It really helps to support us and to continue making videos like these. You can check out my last video on the real reason why schools and universities hate ChatGPT here. Until next time and see you soon.